Hi there, Mrs. Elkie here. Welcome to my channel, Elkie Art. I love sharing my video tutorials with you guys. Today I'm doing one of our favorite movie characters around Christmas time. Are you familiar with this guy? The Grinch. Have you watched The Grinch lately? There are so many fun versions of this movie. Which one is your favorite? If you have a favorite, comment down below on the one that you like the best. I think my kids like the newest one the best. It's super fun. So today we're doing The Grinch. This is a step-by-step -step tutorial, so follow along and see if you can draw The Grinch like I have here. He's a fun one. I just used a marker to draw and colored pencils to color in, but feel free to use whatever you have hanging out around the house. If you're enjoying these videos, please subscribe below. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm using just regular computer paper, a Crayola marker, and some colored pencils. I'm going to start off about the halfway point on my paper, and I'm going to start off with the bottom part of his hat, so it, it almost looks like I'm making waves, or maybe the bottom part of a tree, and then I'm going to connect it around on the top. Now you can see it's a little bit slanted down to the right and I'm also leaving some space on the right side of my paper for the other side of his hat. Now I'm going to make a semi curved line or slanted line down from the hat. This is the side of his face. I'm going to do that on both sides and then next I'm going to go out and in making little zigzag lines that kind of curve around the side of his face. You can see it kind of makes the letter C. And I'm gonna do that on the other side too to give it kind of the furry look. Then I'm gonna connect these two by going down to a point, kind of like the letter V. I'm also going to add a collar that looks like this hat, so it's going to kind of go out and in, kind of like a cloud or a tree, to make his collar of his neck. Next, I'm going to make a V that's kind of floating off to the side of his head, and I'm going to go around that V with some curved lines to make the end of his hat. Then I'm going to decide where the top of the hat is by making kind of like a little mountain. And that mountain's going to connect all the way down to that V that I started with to make the little poof on the end of his hat. And I'm going to curve that back in like that. And then I'm going to connect the hat to his uh, top part of his head, like so. I'm gonna go a little bit below the center of his face to make his nose. And I'm gonna start by just making a little curved line. It looks kind of like a little rainbow. I'm gonna add another one on each side so that there's three of them connected. I'm gonna add a U underneath the middle part and then I'm gonna connect those up. I'm gonna make a curved line that goes down points down to his chin, but doesn't quite go all the way to the bottom. And then I'm going to make his smile kind of go up and around. Notice it follows the line of his face, like the outline of his face. And then I'm going to make a curved line on the top part of his smile. And that's that famous Grinchy grin that we all recognize. Next, I'm going to start at his nose and make some slanted lines that go up and out towards the side of his face. This is going to be the bottom part of the eyes. I'm going to go kind of right in the middle, a little bit above his nose, and create another slanted line. That'll be where his eyebrows start. You can see they have kind of a little hook in the middle. And then I'm going to fatten them up to make them look by, like eyebrows and add maybe a couple of zigzag lines to make them look a little bushier, even on the bottom as well. 
I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, add some zigzag lines to make his eyebrows a little thicker. Number two, if you ever need to pause this and catch up with me as I draw, don't be afraid to pause so that you can stay with me. All right, so we have some nice eyebrows in. Now I'm gonna add a curved line for the outside of the eye and a curved line for the inside of the eye. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. Curved line for the inside of the eye and a curved line for the outside of the eye. Ooh, he's coming together. For his eyeballs, they're gonna be hanging right off of his eyebrows. And I'm gonna leave a little bit of white um, inside of them as I color them in. That's kind of like a little highlight. But otherwise, I'm gonna color them in black. I'm gonna add kind of a little frown lines coming from his eyebrows and a couple little lines here and there just to add some extra texture to his face. Oh, that Grinch. I'm also gonna add some lines to show kind of where his body goes down from his little poofy neck. And there you have it, time to color. I'm gonna start off with some green, of course. And I'm using a light green. and just trying to kind of fill in. I'm using all the same um, darkness. I'm not trying to color lighter or darker in any sections, but just trying to get a nice even shade of green on my Grinch here. And I have sped this up, so I'm not just this super fast color. I want to get a nice even coat of green on his face. Trying to be careful on the edges. The colored pencils I'm using are Arteza colored pencils. They're a really nice set. I've got a bunch of them that I like because they have a lot of different shades and stuff that I can use. Now I'm going in with a little bit of a darker green. I just wanted to add a couple more details, a little bit of shading to the outside edges of his face. So I'm kind of going along the edges and darkening that a little bit. I'm doing the same thing with his smile, just darkening the edges a little bit. And then I wanted to darken his nose a little bit so it stood out. Usually right around the eyes, it's a little bit darker because it's under the eyebrows. So just adding a little bit of shading. If you don't have two different shades of green, you could always color lighter with one green and then just push a little bit darker with the same color. I wanna do the same thing for the red. So I'm starting off with a little bit darker red and I just wanted to go right up by the white part of his hat, make that a little bit darker so there's more contrast. And now I'm gonna to switch to a lighter red and fill the rest of my hat in with that. I've added a little bit of shading around the edges and I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing along the bottom for his shirt or his Santa suit. Just fill it in with red. Get it nice and colored in. Now I could leave it like this, but I decided to use some light blue and anytime I have white, um, like if I was working on a snowman or if I'm working on clouds, I like to add a little bit of shading just to kind of make it look a little bit uh, more realistic. So instead of just leaving it a bright white, I'm adding just a little bit of light blue kind of around the edges. And this 
we'll just make it kind of pop out a little bit more make it a little bit more interesting to look at and you could either if you don't have a light blue you could just color really really lightly with regular blue and that would work too I like to just shade a little bit along the edges of these white areas I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and that your Grinch has looked super awesome like my Grinch here. I, he just has really come to life. These yellow eyes are just topping him off as that mean old Grinch that we find at the beginning of the book and the movie. Thanks so much for joining me and I hope you are enjoying my tutorials. Again, subscribe below if you would like to see more. Thanks guys.